everyone, and thank you for attending today's webinar. We have a great one for you today. We are here with Dolby Atmos Music and Avid Play, music distribution made easy, and we're so happy to have with us Carrie and Jake, uh, who will be doing the presentation today. So those of you that are following on Zoom and on our social feeds, the session is being recorded and will be posted back to avid.com. Your lines, of course, are muted, but I will be monitoring everybody for uh, questions. So go ahead and add those as you um, come up with them and we'll get those asked so Jake and Carrie. Also, you can raise your hand. I can come to you separately in Zoom if you're having an issue. So on those social feeds, Please go ahead, tell us where you're from. It looks like we've got people coming in from Colombia and the UK. Welcome. Uh, someone from Australia. Great. It's great to have you on the today's session. So with that, I'll quickly introduce our panelists. We have Carrie Thomas, who's from Dolby Music, and we have our very own Jake, who's our product marketing specialist, especially dealing with Avid Play. So I know you guys have a bit to cover here, and everyone is so excited for this presentation. So Jake, I think I'm going to hand it back to you to get started. All right, thank you, Don. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Jake, as Don said, I work on product marketing at Avid. Um, I'm just going to jump right in to uh, sharing my screen, just going to show you how to distribute Dolby Atmos music through Avid Play. So if you were on the last webinar, Carrie took you through how to get ready to um, distribute your Dolby Atmos music. So today I'm going to walk you through how to do that using Avid Play. Uh, so just to walk back a little bit in case you don't know what Avid Play is, Avid Play is our music distribution service that we launched uh, about a year ago now. Um, and it basically just lets you get your music out onto streaming services around the world like Spotify, Apple Music, basically all of the big streaming outlets you can get your music out there uh, in whichever way works for you. So we kind of developed it for the independent artists looking to do whether it's put a single out there put an album out there um, or if you want to just put everything out there we have unlimited plans that will work for you as well so basically anything you want to do you can come into avid play and get your music out onto the most popular streaming outlets um, it's completely made for an independent artist so you keep 100 percent of your rights and revenue but today i want to focus on how to distribute your dolby atmos music so this is something that for a long time it was really and it still is, it's really just, it's the pinnacle of audio quality for, for it's, it's the best listening experience. And it's just a great way to have your fans experience your music um, in a whole new immersive way. So what we wanted to do was bring this format to independent artists. Uh, prior to us really releasing this feature, it's something that, you know, you needed to be really involved with a label or just have your foot in the door in a high-end studio to get this music out there in this format. So we're really excited to release this feature for independent artists to start releasing their music in some of the best, highest quality formats with Dolby Atmos. Um, and we're making it available to anyone in a really simple way. So if you were on Carrie's webinar last week and you, you kind of learned a little bit about how to distribute or get music ready in Dolby Atmos, this will be the next step for you to actually get your music out onto streaming services who currently support Dolby Atmos music, um, that being Tidal Hi-Fi and Amazon Prime HD music right now. Uh, those are the only two that currently support it. So those are the only two that we are gonna distribute to um, in this example I'm gonna walk you through. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is if you haven't already, you just need to buy a Dolby Atmos unlimited plan. Um, so basically the way this works is Avid Play is completely built into our Avid Link app. Our Avid Link app is completely free. Um, all you need is an Avid account to sign in. It's available on desktop and mobile. So I'm running the desktop version here. Uh, you can get this at avid.com. And once you log into your account in Avid Link, you can either come here and go to the marketplace and purchase uh, Avid Play plan, or you can actually just purchase one right off of avid.com and it'll automatically populate into your Avid Link account. So once you purchase a plan, you could just come to your products. This is probably the easiest way to go about it. Go to your products and then just click on your dashboard and that'll take you right to the Avid Play dashboard and you'll be ready to start distributing your music. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do um, once you have all your Dolby Atmos music ready to go, uh, you have your stereo file, you have your artwork, um, you have all the components you need to start releasing your music. You just come up to the top right corner here and press new release. So the first step is to just start filling out the details for your release. Um, if you have multiple subscriptions, you're just gonna wanna come in here and make sure you have your Dolby Atmos plan selected. That's gonna give you a whole bunch of other options um, as we're 
dealing with a kind of different format. Different services have different ways of intaking it. And there's a lot of different scenarios that you can go through if you're releasing a remaster or um, doing something where it exists on one service, but not the other. We accounted for that all here by just kind of giving you all the options, all the questions we need to know in order to make the process simple for you as you go through it. So in this example, I'm just gonna show you how to release a single. Um, it's gonna be a brand new single, not previous released. So all you do is come here and press single. Are you releasing Dolby Atmos Music? You press yes. Which outlets are you distributing to? Currently, we only support Tidal and Amazon. They're the only ones that support Dolby Atmos Music currently. So if you wanna release to one or the other, you can just check the boxes. We're gonna release to both of them. So we'll just leave them both checked. And since this is a new, um, song we're going to be releasing here. We're just going to select no for both of these since there is not a version of this track already live. If there was a version of this track already live, it would just require us to have the ISRC code for that already live track so they can be linked up on the services later. Uh, so just going through here, filling out the rest of the information, I'm just going to put in my label. I'm going to enter the artist as myself. We're just going to put in this as the title for now. And then we automatically provide you with the whatever code you want, whether UPC or EAN, we'll automatically populate those for you. So you don't have to worry about that. If you do have your own code, you're free to use those as well. So we're just gonna go to the next section here, which is just your artwork. So we'll just upload our image here. That'll upload quickly. Um, there's some requirements here for you if you aren't sure what size or what file size to use, what type of file. There's all that information here as well. So once this is uploaded and ready to go, it'll show you a quick preview and then you just go to the next section. So for this section, you need to upload your stereo tracks. Um, so we need both your stereo and Dolby Atmos tracks during this uh, process. And the reason for that being is if you're releasing a Dolby Atmos track to, let's just use title in this example, but the user is not listening on a Dolby Atmos enabled uh, device, they'll actually just be served the stereo track when they go to listen to your Dolby Atmos track. So we need these, both of these files to be synced up wherever we send them. And what this also allows us to do is even if you're releasing Dolby Atmos music, you can still release this stereo track to all their services as well. So you can do your Dolby Atmos release to Amazon and Tidal while also releasing all of your stereo tracks to Spotify and Apple Music and wherever else you want to send it to all, all the outlets that we provide. So I'm just going to go in here and upload my stereo track. And this will just take a second, it's a pretty quick, small file. Um, once this is uploaded, you'll get a quick preview down here. You'll be able to listen to it. Um, if you're doing an album, you could upload all your tracks at once, and then you could actually just use this to click and drag your tracks around to set the album order. Um, so that's it for that section. Your stereo track is good to go. And then on to the next section for uploading your Atmos track. So I'm just gonna jump in here and get this going quickly uh, cause it does take a little bit of time. So I want to just go into uh, your folder here and then just add your Dolby Atmos track. So with this Dolby Atmos track, it takes a little bit longer. These Dolby Atmos tracks are pretty big. And basically what's happening in the background here is we're sending this off to Dolby to be encoded in the correct formats. So while this is going on, you could actually move on to the next section and fill out your details. But something that's really cool is you'll actually get a notification when this is done. So if you have Avid Link downloaded on your phone and you're logged into your Avid Link app, um, you'll actually get a notification on your phone saying which when this uh, process is done, it's pretty cool. So you don't have to just sit here and wait for it to finish. Um, this could take anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. It, depends on the size of the file, it depends on your internet connection. So just give this some time during your process, uh, a lot for some time um, just to let this finish up. So while this is doing that, I'm just gonna move on to the track detail section. Um, for the title, we just, since it's a single, we just wanna name it the same name that we gave it in the beginning. Um, and for genre, you can put whatever you want here, whatever your main genre is. Um, so we automatically provide you with the ISRC and the Dolby version ISRC. Um, as I mentioned before, if you're releasing something that's already available in the stereo uh, on streaming outlets, then this is where you would just put in your ISRC code for that track, um, and then it'll be synced up afterwards. Uh, we have a very in-depth FAQ on all the different kinds of scenarios you can get into with releasing something that's already released and remasters and taking something down and changing stuff. Um, I will include that at the end as well for you guys to go and check out. So the other options here are 
you can choose whether you want your track to be available for stream or download. And basically all this means is download is if you want people to be able to purchase it and stream is if you want people to be able to stream it. So with the download option, you can't actually download Dolby Atmos tracks. So if you do press download or, or select download, it'll only be available on the services that you can purchase it from, um, but not in the Dolby Atmos version file. So just keep that in mind that you can actually uh, sell and have downloaded your Dolby Atmos tracks. So the other information here, you just want to keep your artist as is. Um, and then you could add featured artists if necessary, if you collaborated with someone. Um, and then if you have any lyrics, you could just enter the language, um, whether there's a explicit uh, tag required. And then if you want this to be available as a single track or only with the album, so this is just a single, so we're just going to leave this as is. Uh, and if you do have lyrics, you can add them here. You just paste them in here. And whenever streaming outlets support this feature, they'll show the lyrics along with your song when people listen to it. Um, and the other thing you could do is you can put in a preview. So let's say a user isn't subscribed to a service, but they come across your song um, and they want to listen to it, but they like get a preview of it. You can actually pick which part of the song that they'll hear when they listen to it. So you can control the uh, listening experience for someone who doesn't actually own the streaming service which is kind of cool so you can just drop them in wherever you want so once you have all your information filled out the last step here to do is just fill out your participants so in this example i'm just gonna say that i'm on the artist here um i'm gonna get 100 percent of the payout i'm the only one involved here but you could if you were a label distributing for another artist you this is where you would just enter um, yourself, or you would enter this information for the artist, but then you could also add yourself as a label. So just for an example, we can add another person here, put the label, and then we could just set this payout to, let's say, uh, the artist is going to get 90%, and then, you know, you as the label will get 10%. So what will happen here is this will be automatically split up in the payment section of Avid Play, and then you could just automatically distribute those payments um, manually but all of the revenue that comes in will be automatically split up, determined by the percentage that you set up, which is really cool. So if you have, you're working with a bunch of artists, this is a great way to keep things organized and just automatically um, keep those revenues split up. So the last step here is now that you are ready to go, you have all your track details set to go, you entered all your participant information. The last step is just to pick the streaming outlets you want to deliver to. So this section here will tell you which of these services support Dolby Atmos. Um, Currently, as I mentioned, only Amazon Music and Tidal support Dolby Atmos Music. So these would be the ones you want to go to if you want to release Dolby Atmos Music. But since we have the stereo, tax, stereo tracks intact as well, you can choose all of the streaming services you, you want, or you can just pick and choose some. And basically what will happen is the streaming track, uh, the stereo track will just go to um, all of these services. And then basically all you got to do is press save and distribute and you'll be good to go once your file is done processing. So once this is finished, it'll allow you to just play it back and make sure it sounds okay. But for now it's still processing. So we're just going to wait for that to finish up. Um, and then you can come back to your outlet details and just press save and distribute and your track is off. So it takes a couple days, depending on which service you're distributing to for it to show up on streaming services. Um, but that's about it. It's pretty simple. Uh, we tried to make this as streamlined as possible for, you know, really bringing the highest end music quality to independent artists um, for people you know, who do, might not have access to this. But it's really cool for people, you know, not really tied to a big rec record label or something to have their music out there in immersive formats. Um, so I mentioned earlier that there's a really in-depth FAQ. If you just go to avid.com slash avid play and scroll down to the Dolby section, there's a link to the FAQ there. We had a bunch of great artists involved um, in our early access program, helping us really define this and set it up for any scenario you might come across. Um, like I mentioned, remastering and releasing things that are already released. There's a bunch of scenarios that are covered in there that we hope will cover any questions you guys have. Um, I know when it comes to this, there's always different scenarios that artists are going to need, whether it's changing a track, changing artwork, re-releasing, fixing something. So there's always something that we're probably going to need to adjust in the workflow to make it work for you guys. But we think with the group of people that we had building this and we're still 
reiterating on this that you have the power to really do anything that you need in here um, without any outside help. And that was the whole idea behind this was really just empowering the independent artists to do everything that a record label would do for them. But now you have it in your hands and you have it at a really great price as well. So I guess I can mention the price at this point. <laughs> so the plan will cost uh, uh, $49.99 a year and that will give you unlimited single releases and unlimited album releases. So for $49.99 a year, you could release as much Dolby Atmos music as you want, uh, which is really cool. And it's um, something that no one else is offering currently. And we're really excited to offer it to uh, independent artists so they can dip their toes into this immersive format, which is really cool to listen to if you haven't heard it yet. Um, so if you also, if, you, if you're if you not looking to release Dolby Atmos music, you could also, there's also other plans for you. There's just stereo plans, which um, are $24.99. So that's the same thing as the Dolby Atmos plan, except just stereo, unlimited tracks and singles. Um, and there's also lifetime plans. So if you spend, want to just say, hey, I want to just pay once, you could spend $49.99 for just an album lifetime. And this is just stereo. And then $9.99 for just a single lifetime. So there's all sorts of different plans for whatever you want to do. Um, but, you know, we really designed this for the independent artist just to allow you to do whatever you want to do and just give you options and put the control of your music in your hands. Um, so that's about it for the Dolby Atmos distribution workflow. I guess the one other thing I can mention is as new Atmos services are available, um, we will automatically distribute your music as well. So if you check this box, as we put in more Dolby Atmos uh, services, um, it'll your music will automatically go out to them as we add them. So again, set it and forget it and we'll take care of it in the background. Um, and then post-release, there's a ton of tools to help you as well. So let's say your release is out there and live, you could come into your releases. Uh, we give you a few links that you can share if you wanna share it out in social. Um, if you wanna just take your URL, we give you smart links for free. Basically what this is, is a link that'll just compile all the streaming, uh, well, the streaming service that support it. It'll compile all the links. So you can just post this to link to social media and it'll give you a link to Spotify, Apple Music and everywhere that your music is live. So people can just pick and choose where they wanna to listen to your music. The other cool part of this is we actually give you a QR code. So you could actually just point your camera at this and it'll just open up right to that smart link. So really cool to be used if you wanna put it on like a poster or something, you know, when we can go back to concerts someday, hopefully and stuff, you could put this on a poster or on a shirt or and you, people can just point their cameras at it and just be brought to your music, which is pretty cool. This is all free as well. So something that we really wanted to try and do is no hidden fees here. So all this, uh, all the marketing tools are free. Uh, all the codes are free. All the UPC and AAN codes are free. Um, so that we play what you pay one flat price and we're giving you a lot of extras as well. And we're continuing to add features and reiterate on this. So hopefully we can bring you more features in the future as well. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about all I had to say. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it uh, in the question section. Um, otherwise, like I said, there's a really in-depth FAQ. Just go to avid.com slash avid play. Uh, just check that out if you have any questions and if also, if you wanted to, if you can go to the lounge section here, there's an avid play section. Feel free to post your feedback there. We're in there all the time talking with you guys, learning what we can do better um, and really just learning from you guys what you guys want in this app so that we can make it everything that you guys need it to be. Um, so just, I'll just take a quick look at the uh, questions over here. Um, so my, my, Michael Carnes had one about um, if we're building an album from separate tracks, can we define the time gap between tracks or should we build appropriate silence into them? Um, so uh, the, the, the recommendation here, Michael, is, is to build the, build the tracks um, uh, with, the, with any time gap that you might want. Um, so if you're uh, working with a stereo album, obviously that's been timed out uh, appropriately. Um, uh, then yes, you you pull all of those uh, stereo files into a Pro Tools session uh, along with side your ADMs, time those out, um, and then do the do the creation of the the ADM from from that. Um, alternatively, if you're working with a, a mastering engineer, then uh, you can uh, you can allow them to to do that work. Um, highly recommend going through uh, one of the mastering engineers that's working in Dolby Atmos today, um, and um, yeah. 
hopefully that answers your question. Cool. And then we have another question uh, about the previous webinar. Don, do you know if the previous webinar is available for people to check out? It's actually being posted today, and they can find that at avid.com backslash online learning webinars. I'll throw the slide up, um, and they can go watch the video that we did last week. <laughs> Wonderful. Awesome. Yeah, so really cool workflow here. Learn how to make your music Adobe Atmos and then you know take it to Avid Play and get it distributed. Um, yeah, so I don't see any other questions yet. I had a um, question, Jake, come in um, from from uh, YouTube. Um, so the question was, are you able to set trigger times and dates for when you want something to release? And you had mentioned two day, it could take up to two days. So should you do that um, several days out if you're able to do that? Yeah, so if you have a release date um, in mind that you want to release your music on, which I'm sure is usually the case. You can come in here, set your pre-sale start date and set your release start date. Um, I would allow for more than a day or two just to be safe. Um, not all streaming outlets are gonna go live at the exact same time. Some can take possibly up to a week. So I wouldn't set a release date too soon. I know um, for Spotify, it takes a little bit longer and we actually, I think we have a, a date set in here so that it can't actually go live before a week. So yeah, I would definitely give yourself some time, um, at least a week, just to prep things and make sure everything's live. Uh, so you don't have um, streaming services that aren't there yet before, you know, or after you release. <laughs> um, one, one point of clarification, Jake, you, you mentioned during the, uh, during the process, the ADM gets sent to Dolby, um, that it, it never actually enters Dolby's uh, world. Um, the encoder that is is running is running inside of the Avid Cloud. Um, so um, the, any content that you send is going direct to to the Avid Play uh, encoder before then pushing out to the to the streaming services. Um, so uh, just wanted to to clarify that. Yes, thank you. Um, let's see. It looks like we have another question here. So the question here is, can you use Avid Play just to encode and let them download the files? So Avid Play is just your vehicle distribute here. So once we encode the files, you can't actually download that encoded file. You can only distribute it through Avid Play. So it's not a, awesome. not a uh, Dolby Atmos encoding service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just checking social feeds here to see if we have any other questions that come in. Looks like several people will be looking up the FAQ, which is good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes, so we'll get that get that out there as well. I'll go ahead and while we see if any more questions come in, I'm going to go ahead and share the screens for the upcoming webinar so everyone can see that. And then you can also see the website there. Um, at avid.com online learning webinars. That's where the video for last week's presentation uh, going over Dolby Atmos will be. Um, so to be at the bottom of the calendar. Um, and then we also have, if you're looking to learn something new, hey, we got Maestro Designer and Media Composer this week as well. So you could always tune into those and, and learn something with some of the other uh, offerings we have. So it's always a great time. Um, I'm not seeing any questions come in right now, guys, but uh, nope. I thought I see one come in, but nope. I think we're clear. So what? Here comes the question now from Michael. <laughs> so uh, Jake also mentioned the the, the lounge. Um, I uh, I have a, a posting up there about Dolby Atmos Music. So if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out via that platform as well. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I I I don't think Michael the uh, the the this the service is you know available for you to sort of render and then encode. Um, uh, so the, the, the B-Wave ADM is still going to be your, your sort of mezzanine format for, for delivering um, for Dolby Atmos. Um, and then um, if you need to go out to a different platform, um, then you, you there, are, there are options in the renderer to export an MP4 
which will do um, the speaker-based playback. Um, the headphone-based playback is something that you would need to, to encode into AC4 IMS, um, but uh, Avid Play is not the, uh, uh, not the place to be, to be doing that. Um, it's, it's only for, for actual distribution. Um, so uh, hopefully that, that clarifies and answers that question. So uh, cool. All right. Well, Michael says thank you. So I, I guess it, it answered his question. Wonderful. So great question there. And thank you guys for um, the presentation today. We really appreciate it. Um, so thank you again, Jake and Carrie um, and everybody watching. We'll get the webinar posted as soon as possible if you want to go back and take a look at it. And as Jake mentioned, the FAQ is on avid.com at Avid Play. Um, so I'll let everyone get back on with their day. Thank you guys so much for attending. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.